I'm going to take you through making a pie uh, with no inputs from monoculture crops at all. So we're going to make an acorn and wild mushroom pie. These ones here Woody and I collected yesterday. There are a number of different mushrooms in here, including uh, fly agarics. And they need a, a, a longer process, so we will um, we'll show you the video that we have for that. There is wood bluets in here, one of my favorite mushrooms. Uh, we've got uh, woolly milk caps, which grow under birch trees. Um, they're a relative of the saffron milk cap, uh, which is also in here. And we've also got some slippery jacks. So birch uh, mushrooms, pine mushrooms, and wood bluets. What I've done is uh, cooked the fly agaric separately done that whole process which we show you in that video and uh, then cooked uh, once th those uh, fly agarics have been processed I then cooked it all up in olive oil so that's the next ingredient that I'm going to talk about we get our oil from uh, in bulk from Welshman's Reef um, olive oils they are just nearby here our trees aren't old enough yet um, to be producing that sort of crop to press. So uh, we're, yeah, much, uh, much gratitude to those guys at Welshman's Reef. Um, I'll be putting in some ground dock seed, which is out and, and about at the moment, out in the, um, in the commons, and acorn meal. So we also have a, a video that shows you how to convert um, acorns into flour. I think it's called building the household economy with acorns or something like that. Um, so we have the last ingredient we're going to use. Oh no, the second last ingredient. I've got some water somewhere too, some rainwater that's fallen uh, in the last week um, and some salt from the Pink Lake. So we've got friends who are, who uh, when they come back from that way, um, will be harvested with a, a small hand tool and a bucket and then we dry it out in our greenhouse. So all of these um, ingredients don't come from any industrial agricultural source, um, particularly no monocultures and I guess that's why um, we're interested in making such food. Right the first thing I would do is put some acorn in a bowl probably a cup and a half. I, um, I never use measurements as a, when I'm cooking. Um, not much of a, a rule follower. Bit of um, ground dock. I'll just get some water. And what you want to do is just build the, um, I'll just put some salt in as well. And mix all that in just a pinch of salt. Um, now I'm going to lubricate my hands with water so they don't, they're not as sticky. I mean, they don't, sorry, the flour doesn't stick as much when you do that. I'm going to put some olive oil in in a minute just to bind it. Um, a tray and a piece of silicon and yeah I'm reading Victor Stephenson's Fire Country at the moment and wow what a incredibly powerful and potent book and what an amazing storyteller he is it's a must read for everybody <laughs> It's just a remarkable story and such a call to action. 
for many of us to pay attention to it and not just pay attention but eat some humble pie as well. Trying to get it into a state so we can roll it out. It's okay. You can see I'm using quite a lot of olive oil. certainly takes more skill to work with acorn meal, that's for sure. People usually mix it, like we usually mix it with another grain like buckwheat or spelt. A big question in our lives, like how dependent do we want to be on broad acre farming? All right. All right. All right. So, we've got the pastry rolled out to a fashion. It's very brittle. Um, I'm going to put my mushrooms on top. just gonna try and fold the pastry back over onto the top of that. It's almost like a mushroom crumble. All right, so there's my pie. I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's a hot oven for about 20 minutes and that should, that should do it. Yeah, that was about 20 minutes in the oven, a hot oven. As I said, this may be just in time for um, mushroom pie. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. It smells so primal, so old. Yum. Megan Woody are just home, but I thought I'd just have a little tiny taste before I offer it to them, just in case. It's you know, not up to scratch. friend of ours, Brenna, Brenna Fletcher, made this lovely zucchini pickle, which I think would be absolutely fantastic with it. We'll need to save some for Megan Woody, but I think it's a success. One more step closer to being non-reliant on broad acre farming. Cheers. Mmm.